There it is. <laughs> I went shopping. I got a bag. I got a bag with good stuff in it. This is fun stuff I want to show you what I got. First I got this first one up here. I bought a rig. You know, I don't usually get store-bought rigs, but look at these cool beads on them. And this one says it's for spotting kingfish, so maybe I'll catch a king mackerel with this one. And this one, just fell out, it's for bluefish. And it even has bigger bobber thingies on it. So how fun is that? So I'm going to go tie one on. <laughs> tie one on. I'm going to tie them both on, and I'm going to go fishing and we'll see what we can catch. So come on, let's go. Hold up, hold up, stop the tape, cut, cut. <laughs> Listen, I went out fishing yesterday with the big bobber thing with bobbies, and I got skunked. I didn't catch anything. Two hours with both this one, which is supposed to be the bluefish rig, and the other one, the whiting rig. And I think it's not me. I think it's because I've said in other videos, I don't like a lot of hardware on my rigs, um, and this is a lot of hardware. So maybe it's scaring the fish. But to find out, we're gonna do a little test. On one rig, we're going to keep the one with the floats on it, and on the other rig, we're just going to put a regular old double drop rig, tourist stores, bought one, with just a simple little bead, maybe number one hook. And then we're going to put the same amount of bait on, we're going to fish the same spot, and we're going to see, was it me, or is it the rig? Alright, come on, let's go. Roll tape. All right, first up is the uh, the float rig. <laughs> They're both tourist rigs, right? The float rig. Um, and they got the cute little bobbers on them and everything, and they got these little hooks here. So I'm just going to put a little cocktail on here. I put a little bit of um, fish bites on top, and then I'm going to put a piece of fresh shrimp below it. apologize for the water droplet on that. I do try to keep the camera clean, but anyway, you can see, you can see what I did there. And I got both of those. And then when I was thinking about it, I was like... Uh, maybe I should make it even a little bit more interesting. What if I grabbed like a sand flea and put a sand flea on it? So I actually found some sand fleas and uh, here I got one hooked up ready to go. So a piece of shrimp on the top, a sand flea on the bottom, and that's the float rig. And I did the same thing for the regular tourist rig with just the little green beads on it and one sand flea. And uh, both have four ounce weights and we're just going to cast them out and see what we get. And here's our first winner up. It's the... Float rig. The float rig catches the whiting. There we go. Well, we're off to a good start here with our float rig versus our tourist rig and one little whiting. Now, this guy here, he wanted to help me out. So he was going to put the fish back in the water. So he was very excited and, and he didn't. He put it right back in. Good job, buddy. Um, next one up, um, the tourist rig with the pompano. So on the shrimp. Uh, and again, my buddy's going to come help me. He liked to put the fish back in the water for me. And I told him what they were. It was a pompano. And he's like, you want a pompano? I'm like, yeah, that's what it is. So he, he set it back out. All right, cast back out again. Uh, I think I ran out of sand fleas. And then it, <laughs> I lost the friggin' float. <laughs> I lost the float rig. <laughs> All right, I'm ridiculous. But I went to the store this morning and I bought another spot kingfish rig so we can continue the battle. Because right now we're tied one small pompano to one small whiting. So we're gonna put <laughs> we're gonna tie this on and we're gonna go back out there and try again. So here we go. Alright, back to the battle. Um, our next fish up. Uh, another whiting on the tourist rig. So now we're two for the tourist rig, one for the float rig. I think the tourist rig might pull ahead here. Um, again, another whiting on the tourist rig. So we are now up three tourist rig, one float rig. Maybe having that extra hardware wasn't such a great idea. I don't know. I'm not sure. But <laughs> anyway, that's three, but not very big ones. I'll tell you that much. All right, so just when I thought the tourist rig was going to take over three, uh, the float rig came back with number two here, another whiting on the tourist rig. So we got a real battle going on here, <laughs> tourist rig versus the float rig. Um, the shrimp's just getting gobbled up. So we're at three to two right there. Mostly whiting, mostly small. We got the one pompano, but then the tourist rig makes a comeback and with a different species. So we're tied up three, three. We got here a little spot. Um, these are really good eating fish. If you catch a couple of them, you can have a little fish fry. You'll be happy you did. And this is not a bad size one. If I had caught a couple more, I probably would have um, probably would have kept them. But I let them go because we're just out here trying to figure out which is the rig is the best one to use, right? <laughs> Released him safely back into the ocean. All right, next up, we're back to the float rig. So now we're going to be uh, maybe pulling ahead here with the float rig. Four float rig to three tourist rig, and it's another whiting. 
Uh, again, small, it seems to be the, the story of the day here, small whiting, small pompano. Decent sized spot. Of course, spot aren't that big to begin with, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to keep it up. It's starting to get a little cloudy. We might have to pull out of here pretty soon. The, uh, the float rig comes back and pulling ahead five on other spots. See, I should have kept that other spot. I would have had a fish fry. Could have had a couple of tacos right there. Now, what I hadn't realized was when I went to bait up the hook, the other hook had broke on this float rig. This like $4 float rig, and the hook was broken, and I couldn't reattach it because they come tied on, unlike the torch rig where I could have just stuck another hook on. So the torch rig cut one more whiting, and then I had to call it uh, a day because I, it wasn't a fair fight anymore. I only had one hook on the, on the float rig. So in conclusion, four to five. <laughs> so to wrap it up, in the end, not much difference between the uh, double drop rig, store bought rig, and the expensive float rig that I got, but except for the price. That was the big difference. So, caught about the same amount of fish, caught about the same quality fish. Uh, disappointing. <laughs> but not much difference. So, I would say don't waste your money. Just use a double drop rig or make your own. There's a lot of tutorials out there on, on the YouTube teach you how to make your own double drop rig. Be real cheap and expensive, and you probably catch more fish. All right. Let's go fishing. Wow.